A federal judge has ruled a mistrial in the Backpage.com case. Now, the founders of the now defunct classified site are charged with facilitating prostitution and accused of knowingly selling ads for sex on the website. Joining us live this morning to explain what this all means and the impact, we are joined by CEO of Crime Stoppers of Houston, Rania Mancurius. Good morning and thank you so very much for joining us. Good morning, thank you for having me. Okay, Rana, can you explain why this particular case is so important? It's extremely important. And actually, the reason it's important is part of the reason it got uh, thrown out by the judge and declared a mistrial. Um, Backpage, 100 count indictment, thousands and thousands of emails that showed that they were doing more than just posting ads, that they were curating ads, that they were enticing sex sex ads because it generates a ton of money for them, 500 million over 14 years. Um, the problem is that a lot of children were bought and sold online, many of them raped and some of them killed. And the prosecutors in the case kept bringing up that issue. But unfortunately, that issue alone wasn't part of the indictment. So. A lot of us here who are trying to protect victims of sex trafficking look at sites like Backpage as a, as a, as a real issue because it creates access to these children and we want to stop that. So we're excited for October 5th when the new trial will, will resume um, and we hope that there is success. Now, it appears that the real issues are human trafficking as well as prostitution. What do you think is going to happen in the retrial? Hopefully in the retrial, you know, I understand the prosecutor's desires and, and um, wishes of bringing the issue of child sex trafficking because ultimately that is a huge issue and it's, it's illegal and it's affecting so many children. Uh, hopefully they, they can't bring that up. So they'll stick to the facts, the 100 count indictment that the founders of Backpage and, and their top executives willingly and knowingly did more than just post ads, but curated, enticed, did whatever they could to lower their standards, bring in sex ads, e even if it was hurting people, even if it resulted in rape. Hopefully they will find that this is the case. They will find the makers of Backpage guilty and it will become a lesson for other curators, other website hosts that always say, that, that, you know, claim innocence. We're just hosting these sites. We have nothing to do with it. No, you have to be responsible for the content that your website curates and, and puts out there, especially if it means that women and children are going to be raped and, and in some cases murdered. Have there been any other sites that have copied what Backpage was doing? Unfortunately, you're seeing this happen in sites that are not just classified like Backpage, but you're seeing um, OnlyFans, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, create an avenue for young women to be sold online. Now, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, these other platforms do have higher standards, but algorithms are what they are. And when algorithms sense that a user wants this type of content, algorithms will continue to push out that content for the user or the consumer and the appetite for that industry increases we've got to do better as a society in terms of what we're clicking on what we're wanting to purchase what we're wanting to buy and consume we've got to get ahead of the um, communications decency act and 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 understand yes these platforms are hosting material but there has to be some liability when you're dealing with material that's illegal and, and not allowed. So many of us are working on that and we do think that we're gonna see some changes coming up soon. Great information, thank you so very much. Rania Mancurius, uh, the CEO of Crime Stoppers Houston. Thank you.